every single day when I open my inbox, there are 10 messages, Instagram, Facebook, even in LinkedIn nowadays about my marriage is not working, it's collapsing, sir, please tell me how can I, how can I, how can I just keep it? <laughs> so, it's a very, very, very critical situation now. Especially in 2024, marriages are breaking apart. Extramarital affairs are rampant. Sex outside marriage, before marriage, after marriage. <laughs> I mean, as Kaliuga is getting worse day by day, things are going down. So here are 10 remedies to improve your married life. And these are not magic remedies. They will not change your karma. They will not change your existing married life which is already destined. But these remedies can help you make the best use of a bad bargain. Which means even if you have a difficult karma in terms of your marriage, because this is very important to understand that your karma will not change if you change the person. It will not change. You you may think, oh, if I get a divorce with this person and then go with somebody else, then it might work. Okay, but it doesn't. You will always see people who have been divorced once. They will, you know, statistics show they will have a second divorce, and those who have had a second, they have a very high probability of having a third divorce. What does this mean? This means this is dependent on your karma, right? So, if by karma you are destined not to stay with somebody, then um, somebody means not that one person, but with anybody. And then, even if you marry more, it will not work. Okay. But if you do these remedies, then you can make the best with your existing situation. But understand that even after doing all these things may not work. But what I have seen is in general, whenever I have given these remedies, when people have worked on them, and then uh, unless, their, unless their horoscope is like, you know, not extreme, like, you know, unless the horoscope is, you know, guaranteeing that there has to be a divorce, people are able to maintain their married lives, okay? So... Today's uh, video is not a video to change your destiny, but a video to make the best use of your bargain. <laughs> a good or a bad bargain that your chart will say. All right. So let's get straight into it. The first remedy that you can do, and when I say you, it's not you. It's you and your spouse together, husband and wife together. You should be chanting mantras together. See, whenever you are chanting mantras together, you are getting a divine connection. You are trying to, see, then you will start seeing each other as spirit soul rather than seeing each other as, you know, object of enjoyment. Right? Physical enjoyment, emotional enjoyment, or egoistical enjoyment. Right? So, therefore, if you do spiritual practices together, Especially every morning, if you chant mantras together, then your life will change. It won't happen in day one, but it will happen over three months, six months, you will see. You will develop a different level of respect for each other. And you will be careful with your words. Mm -hmm. Right? Words make or break a marriage. So therefore, if you chant mantras together, now the question is, what mantras can you chant? Well, there are a lot of different mantras you can chant, but... If you are clueless and if you don't know and if you do not have a guru who has given you diksha and you are just, you know, like hovering around and grazing around different YouTube videos and you are like, okay, with chanting anything, then you can chant Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya, Om Namo Narayanaya. You can chant Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram, Hare Hare. So you can start with these three mantras and then gradually God will take care of you. All right, so you both. <laughs> so try and do this, uh, try to do this and you will see results very fast. In 30 days, you will see results, okay? You will feel the energy is very different. You won't, you won't deal with each other the same way, not possible. Number two, you can listen or listen and chant the Vishnu Sastranam together. See, Vishnu Sastranam has a very powerful energy of uh, Lord Vishnu. So therefore, whenever you are reading or chanting or doing both uh, the Vishnu Sasram together, then you are connecting to God. So when you are connecting, what is happening is 
you are not only strengthening your relationship with God, you are also strengthening your relationship with each other. Okay. Because what happens? Why do marriages break off most of the times? Exceptions are there, but mostly, you know, people are not happy with each other or they are like done with each other, right? Why? Because they lose focus and they don't have a vision anymore together. So when you chant the Vishnu Sasanam together, you will realize that both of you are a part of the higher plan. So therefore, you will be able to understand that our life, the life of the husband and wife, is actually ideally, 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 or rather it is supposed to be much bigger than your superficial interactions. There are other things, you know, like there is society, your parents, your in-laws, then you have children, all right? So therefore, marriage is a very sacred bond. And if you do the Vishnu Sasram together, if you can chant, that's great. If you can't, then just hear together 30 minutes. Okay, you can go to YouTube, you can type, you can find a lot of videos there, okay? That will help you. That will help you miraculously. So don't don't take it cheaply. Don't take it for granted. If you have problems, please do it. Chanting mantras and Vishnu Sasram. Then number three, you can do some worship of Lakshmi Narayan on either Thursdays or on Fridays. Any of the days will work. Okay, so many people do puja, you know, like deity worship, you know, they do archa, they have, they have the murti, so archa vigraha is there, you know, say they do archan there, or they sing some kind of prayers, or uh, they will, you know, uh, go to some temple and you know, they will do, do some practices. So, if you can do some practices, you means again together. <laughs> So if you both can go and do some practices related to Lakshmi Narayan, go to some nearby temple or go to some bona fide parampara of Lakshmi Narayan, Sita Ram, Radha Krishna or Rukmini Krishna, then it will take you miles ahead because if the energy of Lakshmi Narayan comes into you, you both, <laughs> then you will again stop looking at each other as, you know, bodies or as humans, you know, you will realize you are much more than that. You means both of you. <laughs> Number four, donate, donating together on Thursdays of Friday. See, what happens when married life gets difficult? You start to think, okay, my needs are most important. That person starts to think, oh, my needs are most important. Why is he or she not fulfilling it, right? But when you start doing, giving donations together, then what happens is you realize that, okay, my needs are important, but other people's needs are also important, right? So then that will, that mindset will change towards your partner also. So many times your partner may not be able to do certain things and you will be okay with it. So therefore, if you do give donations together, now you may say, oh, I am jobless and I have no money to donate. But still, you can donate maybe $1, one, one rupee, right? Or you can donate some water, some fruit, leaf. Krishna says in Gita, Patram Pushpam Phalam Toyam Yome Bhaktiya Prayachati Tadam Bhakti Uparitam Ashnami Prayata. So you don't have to donate a million dollars. You can just donate one rupee, one dollar. That also will do the job. So, how much you donate is less important than your attitude. Okay. Now, of course, if you have more, you should donate more ideally. Okay. Not that, you know, you have a million dollars and you are just donating one dollar. Okay. But you can donate as per your wish. And you know the secret? You should donate minimum till the amount that it pinches you. <laughs> All right. So, if it's not pinching you and it's, you know, just, oh, yeah, I just gave it. Then maybe the amount is not. Accurate, it should pinch you. Oh. <laughs> I won't say much on this, but I'm sure everybody understood what I am saying. All right. Does it pinch you when you lose money? <laughs> All right. So do this donation on Thursdays or Fridays. Okay. Number five, try to fast on Fridays or Thursdays or on Ekadashis. Very, very, very important. Like we also have different kinds of ratas, you know, like. Fasting is there, but especially if you are a lady and your married life is not the best, then try to fast on Thursdays because Guru is the karaka for the husband and if you are a man and your married life is not the best, then please try to fast on Fridays, okay? Because Venus is the karaka for the spouse. 
or a man and in general you both should try to fast on ekadashi so i won't discuss much about ekadashis if you don't know what is ekadashi please go and watch videos in youtube about ekadashi what you should eat what you should not eat okay so try to do this and this will take a lot of your negative karma away from your your karmic balance okay for both of you number 6 this is huge this is maybe most important this is more important than all the other five try to visit a spiritual community regularly every weekend okay so again you may do mantras you may do vishnu sahasranam you may do worship of lakshmi narayan you may do fasting you may give donations you may do all the five but if you don't visit a spiritual community all these things will be very short lived because every human being being every freaking human being needs some social affirmation okay so if you don't the very less human beings in this world who can say oh you know i will not go to any community you know it's not about spiritual community it could be anything you know like if you are into sports you know very less people are there who can say i'll just play alone you know or if you are you know studying very less people can say i'll just study alone okay so humans are somehow not meant uh, are not created to do things alone okay you can do there are very uh, elevated yogis who can do that but in general what happens when somebody is put in jail you know they have confinement solit solitude so solitude is like a punishment most of the times okay so therefore uh, if you are if you are having a difficult marriage then maybe it is in your best interests that you you try to elevate your consciousness you and your spouse then you will you will be able to make peace with your bad marriage to a large extent okay i'm not saying that you know you can pretend for very long no i'm not saying that but there are there will be things in your marriage which won't be great okay there will be certain areas in your marriage which won't be the best and then you will you will have two options either you magnify them and you feel you know okay that's it i'm done with my marriage i can't do this anymore or you uh, should actually uh, you can make peace with it so if you go to a spiritual community you involve yourself for a spiritual cause do seva there you know do chanting mantras together you read the vishnu sahasranam and you donate and you fast then you will develop a higher vision okay that is how you can actually understand that you both are spirit souls as the scripture say number 7 very important do go seva cow protection okay the cow is the most miraculous animal and the cow is where all the devatas reside and cow is most dear to lord krishna also and to now uh, all the devatas in fact so the cow, if you if you give food to the cow if you give food for uh, money for you know cow shelter cow protection go seva basically then you will be blessed beyond beyond imagination okay and cow is the cow is the pinnacle of innocence okay so and cow also represents the sign number 2 right the bull actually taurus right so and second house as you know is you know your family sustenance everything so uh, please go and do go seva cow cow protection cow service and all this and you will see your marriage will change this will this is guaranteed almost number 6 and number 7 this is guarantee it will change okay number 8 there could be some vastu dosh in your home or in your building you know so maybe this is also something you might have to see so this this may not be relevant all the time like you know every time you are changing your house and you know you are always having problems then this then this is not the reason but suppose you are married for like 3 years for example and now suddenly you shift your home and you go to one place and then suddenly suddenly you know your quarrels have started increasing you know you are having these bickering experiences right so then this could be a problem so temporarily you might try to rectify the dosh with some vastu expert or maybe worst case change your house okay so this this could be a problem so try and see if this works but as i said if this is always the case then this rectifying this may not help you all right but what's the harm in trying try it out if it works fine if not then do the other remedies right <laughs> number 9 you should do remedies for your venus jupiter and seventh lord from your chart 
Okay. So for example, maybe your Venus is afflicted, you know, by Mars, Saturn, or whatever, or your seventh house, seventh lord is afflicted, or you know, if you are a lady, then Jupiter especially, and seventh house, seventh lord. So if you can, if if you can contact your astrologer and you know the astrologer can suggest you specific remedies for v Jupiter, Venus, and seventh house, seventh lord, then also it can help because. Uh, then it can help you uh, tune in more with the energies of these planets. Okay, so try and do this. This can help to some extent. And number 10, this is very important, is to maintain a gratitude journal where you write down things which your spouse has done for you, the good ones. <laughs> because if we get a book and, you know, we write down the things that our spouse did to us, we'll be like, oh, you did this 10 years back, you know, 3,265 days back, you did this, right, 10 years back, 15 years back, you said like this, ah. <laughs> so therefore, only write the good things. Of course, this does not mean you just put your head under the ground and you brush off all the things that are important. No, if there is some serious concern, genuine concern, then you need to address it. I'm not saying don't, but have a gratitude journal where you make sure you focus on the positives. Okay, so try and talk out your challenges, but also try and appreciate each other. You know, and yeah, have this gratitude journal. And apart from these 10 remedies, there are 1000 other remedies you can do. You know, like for example, uh, you can have a walk with your spouse every Friday. You know, that is all something which else. You know, pomo. You can take pomegranates. You know, you can take curd. These are all Venusian remedies you can do. I also have a video on Jupiter remedies, Venus remedies. So that, please watch these videos. Also, they will also give you uh, a lot of idea about what kind of remedies you can do to improve your marriage. All right. But overall, understand that if your karma is extremely difficult, then no matter what you do. You cannot change it. But you can do these remedies and by doing them, you can elevate both of your consciousness and then you can understand that, yes, maybe life will demand a different version from us. Maybe we should see each other as spirit souls and dedicate our life for something bigger rather than just you and me. All right. Thank you so much. Please take care and don't forget to hit the thumbs up and share it with somebody who is looking for marriage remedies. Okay, please take care. Jai Siaram, Jai Lakshmi Narayan, Jai Shri Krishna. <laughs>